Good morning, Mr. F. How are you doing? Oh, that worked. Yeah, turbojet engine. Been working real hard to get this combustor done. The design was totally different than what I'd done in the past. And most of it was, it was for the, for airflow. The more I can get the airflow to really flow through this thing, even if it's hot on fire or whatever, the more cold air that comes in here, comes across my charge pipe, comes into my combustion liner, <laughs> through my combustion liner into my flame tube, flame tube comes into my turbine, hot side comes out over here. And eventually we're gonna do something with that hot side. <laughs> and right now, since this is so different from, let me just go ahead and get my chair. Yeah. The testing that I've done, you guys have probably seen a couple of my shorts. The combustor was unhooked. I was really just testing. If you listen. That's my sparker. <laughs> my spark setup is working perfectly. It's got a double A battery that you put inside here slide a double A battery into it, hook it to a spark plug. I wasn't sure if it was gonna work with a good spark plug. That's a, it's an NGK plug that's not a resistor plug. Make sure it's not a newer resistor style plug. The, the, the spark plug, I wanted to make sure, and I just had to open the gap up. The gap is about twice as far open as what it was before. You know, the stock gap on the plug, I think is about 30, 24,000, 30,000, something like that. It's easily double that now, so you get a nice big gap Nice big spark, because this thing will throw the voltage to do it. <laughs> the longer I hold that button, the more it sparks. And this is, now that this is hooked up, this is really the time when you really just gotta put your rocket science glasses on <laughs> and start to really think about everything. Because we are about to fill this combustion liner full of fuel and put a spark at it and possibly blow a bunch of boost at it. <laughs> we can't yet. This is still a bit mocked up. This isn't the proper coupler. This is, you know, it's all still, this is correct. Tube is correct. I'm waiting on another coupler. Uh, I still need to do a couple details up here. We're just finishing all my build details because I wasn't I hadn't had all this 100% designed I'll show you guys details on that here shortly but I don't have I don't want to put full fuel to it yet I don't have an oiling system yet I don't have anywhere to for the thrust to go yet so I really just want to be able to test this because my flame tube 100% new design I'd never done any of this I've done others, but they weren't of this design. The cap was completely different. The top, everything was different. The bottom was different. This one is gonna flow so much more air, it's not even funny. And really the first thing I wanna test right now, I wanna blow air into here and just see how much air we're getting out over here. And I'm gonna do it with a leaf blower. Nothing's gonna be on fire yet, we're just blowing air.
Okay. It's flowing awesome. It's moving air like no tomorrow. Much better than the designs I had in the past. You know, because once it's on fire, it's moving regardless. But you want to just kind of double check that stuff. And that's why I've been working through these processes slowly to really know everything about it. Okay. <laughs> and you guys can see I'm a little bit worked up. That really, too, was to blow. If there was anything in there. Fuel's off. We can spark it. There's no fuel in there. We're safe. <laughs> let's put some, let's oil up our turbine. Because I don't have a system yet. This is my system. <laughs> okay, yeah, good. I filled it right up, okay? Oh, yeah, it's working good. <laughs> it's working real good. Okay, guys, here we go. First test. I'm going to give it, we're going to give it to the count of seven. Seven counts of fuel. And I think we should be good. Let's see. Fuel on. Five, six, seven. A little bit of hair in there. Spark it. Whoa! Yeah! We got a huff across the turbine. I think it even spun a little bit. <laughs> My heart is racing, guys. This turb is about to be too. I want to leave the fuel on. I can't really leave the fuel on yet because I... If this thing fires, it's going to take off. And luckily, I, I I wanted to get it all put together this far because the turbine, last time I fired the turbine, it moved. And I had it even strapped down. So I wanted to get everything bolted together because the turbine, it, you know, it's it's bolted to the, to, the, to the steel workbench. And this workbench does have wheels. So once we get it running, we can scoot it by the door and <laughs> it'd be way better. We're not there yet. Let's give it 10 seconds of fuel and see what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A little air. Oh! <laughs> yes! Oh yeah! Always oh, hot. Always oh, hot. Oh, it smells like burnt propane. Let's clear it out. Clear out the combustion chamber. Oh yeah, the turbine spins right up. Let's try one thing here. Quit spinning, dang. Must not be enough fuel. Another five seconds. A little air. <laughs> yeah, that was a bunch of fuel. Man, I wish this thing had some oil so we could just light it off. It's so ready, guys but I still need to finish some stuff up here. Oh, yes.
Okay, I just drew some balls. That was fuel wide open on this little torch, which isn't enough fuel. It was air going in, fuel and spark. It lit several times. I could hear it burning in the combustor, which has warmed up now. Not hot on the outside, it's hot on the inside. It's cool. I could hear it light and go a couple times, but I was giving it too much air and not enough fuel. It definitely needs more fuel. That's best case scenario. That means it's going to go as soon as we give it more of this. We're making power big time, guys. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you for teaching me some jet engine science today. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. 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 <laughs> Let's just go ahead and unhook that because this is just a torch. It's made to make a little bitty flame, not a huge jet engine flame. <laughs> But I need to pull this apart and I'm going to show you guys the internal build of how this all goes together and how it's able to fire like that. And if we keep that gas flowing enough of it, it's going to keep doing that times about 10 and get that turbine rolling. Yeah. Okay, guys, and yes, this right here is basically the math to our entire scenario. <laughs> this is what's allowing that fuel to enter up here and measuring the temperature there. I could tell it's about 100 degrees up here, tapers down to about 97, which is cool because it start it fires here, starts to cool down, cools down more, and then cools down. So we went from 100, 97, 95, 91, down to 80 at the bottom. And that was the problem at other engines I built. It was firing way too far down. And it was just, the fire was just way too much to go across that turbine because it'll melt it. And as you guys can see now, this is kind of what I was talking about, about the Lego puzzle. <laughs> it all has to be able to come apart because if it doesn't come apart, you can't really look at anything and you're just kind of winging it. So <laughs> this really is the best way. And now the bolts come in from the case on the outside right here come through there's a tube if you guys saw me drill these two holes on the side of the flame tube before and were wondering i was wondering if it also if it was going to get too hot right here which it's 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 cooling already right here so we're good so inside the combustor liner these tubes go right here actually let me just go ahead and put this one on here like that and like this inside the combustor liner that squishes it all down and this flame tube cannot move on the bottom it slides into the v-band down here locks it in place hundred percent and trying to pull it out it was in there pretty good so I know we're good so when that slides in, the bolts go in, it's locked in place, it ain't moving. And that was the that was the, the thing I wanted to change on this engine, which I had on my other ones. I just had a flat cap on there, and there was no way to do anything up here because it was just a flat cap and I was relying on the air to come in and I couldn't do a mixing vein and it didn't 
work the best overall. And now I can see that the flame is going to be at the very top, which is what I want. And it's going to work great with my current design. Now my, my sparker and my fuel come in through my top cap. My air comes in through the top cap. That goes on there to seal it off. So I can still get in there and change spark plug, do whatever I want. And then this goes together with the V-band, locks it together and it's good. And you can see the air comes in from the socket. But then there's a, the tube extends down where it tapers in so that the air has to go straight out of here. And then it's allowed, as soon as it comes out, it can open up and go around the flame tube. And it seems to be working great so far. So I think that's good. And I wanted it set up like this too. My startup fuel essentially is what this is. This is just gonna be to start the burner. And it's working great. I can hit the sparker like one time with fuel, you know, with the proper blend of air and fuel. It goes off instantly every time. So I know we're good there. And what the cap here is gonna do, eventually this flame tube right here, on the end where the swirler veins are, that's where the liquid fuel is going in. And it's gonna come in like that, but it's gonna be on the end of this cap out here in free air space. So it's gonna, the, the fuel injector can stay cool and it'll be mounted in this cap and it'll have a tube that'll come down and the tube will go into the flame tube right there. So it won't spray fuel into the combustor liner. It'll only spray fuel into the flame tube. So it explodes in there and comes out once it's mixed with air from the flame tube or from the combustor liner. So, and you don't want to spray this fuel in until it's lit and going. When it's lit and running on propane, that's when we can dump the fuel in. <laughs> it's going to be good. Oh yeah, guys. Okay. That may be way too much science, way too much rocket science for one day, but we're good and I'm just waiting on a few more parts here and we're going to be able to get this thing together 100% and be blowing fire out of that thing through our turbine or through our PTO turbine driving our pinion which is going to drive a chain which it needs to go in a frame I want you to build a frame of mock-up just to be able to start to hold everything because it's a big jet engine <laughs> like share and subscribe guys way more to come way more boost on fire and uh, yeah way more details sorry about all the rocket science but Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Way more to come. Let's ride.